All right, this is the uh, Etheron guide that everyone been waiting for, right? In this video, I'm just gonna be going over how to like start the fight and how to do the fight. Now, obviously, I'm gonna be cheating because this is what I do. It's how I enjoy playing the game. I like cheating, right? But you do not have to cheat to do this. This is just gonna be going over the general method, and I'm gonna be showing like where everything is and how you're supposed to do it. So, how you actually start the fight is just four of these little things, right? You just go around and you need to press E on them. And they're going to light up. Once they light up, that little blue tether is going to disappear, right? There's like these little blue tethers. You see that? Like, I'm going to follow it and I'm going to show you. You follow these tethers if you don't know where everything is. And they show you where everything is. This ball connects to them, right? <clears throat> and so, that's how you actually start the fight. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to open up any chest. For the medallions those medallions are just like if you want to get the oath and the moves for the oath you need 30 for the oath 15 for the moves you need five medallions for the uh enchanting your armor and enchanting your weapons buying the enchant stones and it's one medallion for the dies oh shit i went the wrong way and so that's what they do i'm not going to open them just for the sake of getting the shit out but if you're doing this normally i recommend that you do go and get as many as you can. They're, they like... Most of them spawn in the same place every time. So you you won't really have to look around that much if you memorize the locations. Alright, and for all the, uh, all the cheaters watching this shit, don't fly over here. I flew over to the fight a couple times, and I got AA gunned, and I had to fucking do Chaser again. It was really annoying. Don't fly over here. Just be boost. So how this fight works is that there's going to be... A move that he does right he'll throw these like little bones at you and what you need to do is you need to parry these bones you need to parry or block them then you need to pick them up you need to put them in these little altars right and there are three altars on every floor there's three altars on every floor for this move you uh spam f by the way three altars on every floor and uh once you do all that he's gonna get like yeah this move right here once you put them in the altars on every floor Breeze in place, and he's not going to be able to do anything, and that's when you start fucking him up. You'll see later. Oh, shit. By the way, don't get hit by this move. It'll fucking one-tap you. For people who aren't cheating, I'm pretty sure you can just roll it. It's pretty slow. You can get out of there in time. Just don't stand still. For people who, for people who are cheating, just, you know, fly away from here. Also, auto-parry doesn't work in this fight, so... I'm just letting everyone know that uh, I'm not auto parrying, and and it's not difficult moves to parry either. Like it's it's a relatively easy fight. It's just uh, it's just annoying for the most part. I don't know why I'm not getting any health packs. I'm gonna be real. Normally the uh, little sniper guys spawn down here, but they're not spawning for me. Okay, I'm just gonna have to play it safe then. I actually, you know, for the sake of this video, for people who aren't cheating, normally there's gonna be little things that spawn over there, and you can health pack off of them, but they're not spawning for me. So I'm. This is the first time I've ever had to do this. I'm just gonna go heal real quick. If you're not cheating, uh, there will be like these little sniper guys. They always spawn on there. This has never happened to me, so I'm very confused. I now I can get this shit back. Oh yeah, but for people who are cheating, you can go health pack off those guys. If you do get low. That's the first time I've ever had to do this. I don't know why they didn't spawn for me, but yeah. There they are. Why the fuck? <laughs> okay. So what I like to do is I like to hit them once, just so that when I do need a health pack, I can just go over there and hit them once, and I don't need to have to hit them twice, because like... When you do hit them, they don't like you can't stun them out of their attack. It's very weird. Oh, that's where the last one is. I see it. I'm just gonna kill one of them. Alright, so this is the third layer. This is like. It's really weird how uh, the fight works, because, like, half the time, the little bone shit that he does, it doesn't spawn on the third layer. Like, when you go up there, 
like, and he throws them, he doesn't, like, throw them at you if you're not on the, uh, I mean, if you're on the third layer. It's really weird, so I like to stay on the second layer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it and see if he does throw them at me. But I don't think that he will. Because, like, the bones have collision, so if they hit a pillar, it won't actually get sent to you. Yeah, see that? He just threw them, and they hit the floor. So try and stay on the second floor. But again, it's a relatively easy fight. You just, like, like it's not hard to parry into the moves of the beam. You just spam F for the bones. You just press F three times. You can even hold block if you have high enough posture. I mean, I feel like people are making a big deal out of this just because he's really big and he's kind of scary, right? But it's really not that difficult once you learn how to do the fight. You can uh, block that, by the way, but I just like to run away from it. Shit. And when you have, whenever you get low, you just go there, you hit this guy once, get a free health pack, and you go back up. Or not back up, you just go away. I'm actually gonna go on the third floor because that little bone thing is down there. He should be throwing it at me. Yep, there it is. Alright, I'm just gonna grab this. Now this is where you can uh, actually damage him. This is I'm gonna put this little bone in here, and this is where the damage phase starts. You don't need to fly over to him. You can, you're supposed to hit his arms, that's how you're supposed to do it. For uh, everyone who isn't cheating. If you are cheating and you do go over here, just make sure to fly around because the snipers will kind of fuck you up. So just keep on moving. And then after this, the fight gets really, really easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you. Because after this, one bone from every altar on every floor gets despawned. So you just need to grab one bone, and then you need to go to every floor and put one bone in every altar. I'm gonna health pack really fast. Fuck. You can parry that, by the way. I'm just kind of shitting the bed right now. It's random which one despawns, though. Just gonna get a health pack. Get away from that thing, because it'll one-tap you. If you're not cheating, you can, again, just roll away from it. It's pretty slow if you're just moving. Like if you have dash or gale lunge. Alright, and now once I put this in, the fight's over. You can two-phase it if you're solo. It's really not that difficult. Where the fuck is it? That's where it is. Alright, there it is. Not now, you should do the same thing that you just did. He's gonna get stuck. And the fight's over. Unless you completely shit the bed, there's no way you can lose. Chess is honestly it doesn't really give you anything great. Oh, what the fuck? Never mind, I just got something good. I don't know what the hell it is. Alright, now I'm just gonna dip. There's once you win the fight, a ton of chess spawn, they all have medallions in them. I'm not gonna get them just so I can get the fuck out of here and finish this video. But normally you wanna try and get those, definitely. And the exit, you just run